Blessed are the poor and the sore and the meek. Blessed are the pure, the unsure, and the weak. Blessed are the short. Blessed are the slow. Blessed are the dropped outs, the washed outs, the burned outs, and left outs. Blessed are you when people disrespect you, disregard you, disinvite you. Blessed are the dist. Be glad, very glad. You are living the dream, which is mostly unseen. Things are not what they seem. Seek first the kingdom of God. You are the salt of the earth. Don't lose the savor. You are the light of the world. Let it shine. Live in such a way that when people look at you, they say, what a good God God must be to have thought up such a person. But do not think I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have not come to steal them. I have come to fulfill them. The law is not the source of goodness, but it is forever the course of goodness. Take this from me. Unless your goodness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not live in the kingdom of God. You will forever be trapped in the kingdom of self. Conventional wisdom says, so long as you haven't killed anyone today, you've obeyed the command not to murder. But take it from me. Anger will murder you. Leave it at the altar. Your heart will be an altar, or your heart will be altered by anger into a factory of hate. Conventional wisdom says, sexual purity is a matter of avoiding wrong actions. Cut off your hands, pluck out your eyes, achieve spiritual maturity by sufficient dismemberment of your bodily parts. Or you could let me change your heart give you a new start, take over each part. I can change the course of your divorce. Let's rearrange the source of your discourse. Let your yes be yes, let your no be no. Every spin or sin comes from down below, you dig? Conventional wisdom says, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. But I say, turn the other cheek. Go the second mile, give the shirt off your back. Conventional wisdom says, love the lovers, hate the haters. But hate will choke. Hate will break. The Father loves. That's sun for everyone, rain for everyone. Love leads, love gives, love suffers, love bleeds. Be like that. Do not practice your righteousness in front of others to be approved by them. It's an affliction. It's an addiction. You will become fiction. When you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets. Outsource your generosity to your habits, making giving like Tying a tie when tying your shoes, it's not even news. Let not your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Secret is real. When you pray, don't be like the hypocrites. They want to be seen. They want to look good. They want applause, which is a lost cause. Unseen, unknown, in secret, alone. He's near. He hears. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. When you forgive other people, if you forgive other people, your heavenly Father will forgive you. If you do not, he will not. When you're fasting, live like you're feasting. Don't advertise, disguise. Make the good an inside job and it'll sneak out when you're not looking. That's the reward. Who you become from your father, who is unseen in the kingdom which you seek first. Therefore, do not store up treasures for yourself on earth. Take a lesson from the junkyard, rust, moth. Thief. Put your money where your mouth is, your heart will follow. Greed is hollow. One master, only one. Who will it be? Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you shall eat or drink, your body, what you shall wear. Look at the birds of the air. No ulcers, no colitis, no high blood pressure, no MBAs, yet they're all fed by Chef God. Look at the lilies of the field. No labor, no spinning, but they're all Kardashian and GQ and nature chic. Will he not much more clothe you? Oh, you of little faith, I wouldn't worry. However, you must ruthlessly eliminate hurry. Seek first the kingdom of God and his true inner goodness and everything else comes a la carte, one day at a time. I wouldn't worry. But judge not, 
lest you be judged. Your measure will become your treasure. Remember the speck in the plank. Remember the pearl in the pig. Help the pig. Save the pearl. Ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. This is how the universe works. This is how you honor people's kingdoms without judging or planking or purling or condemnation engineering. If those who are evil know how to give good gifts, imagine the Father. Ask the Father. Trust the Father. Love the Father. Thank the Father. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. This is the Bible in a tweet. In the beginning was a tweet, and the tweet was with God, and the tweet was God, and the tweet became flesh and Twitter a while among us. Will you be my hashtag disciple? Will you intend to do what I say? Will you obey? Will you be with me to learn from me how to become like me? Enter through the narrow gate. Follow, surrender. Live as I would if I were you. Revel in obedience. The broad way is to do anything else following the herd, ignoring my word, letting your heart be unwashed, uncured. Will you be my disciple? By their fruit, you will know them. Every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. Will you be my disciple? Many will say to me on that day, to me, Lord, Lord, didn't we do impressive things, lead impressive lives, and die shiny deaths? And I will say plainly, I never knew you away from me, evildoers. Will you be my disciple? Everyone is building a house with every choice and every moment. You're building a life. You can't not build a life. And everyone will face a storm. It will come without trying, without warning. It will come when you're dying. It will come when God brings justice. You cannot face a storm. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and lives them displays heavenly wisdom by building their house on the rock. And anyone who hears these words of mine and does not live them has given in to foolishness by building their house on the sand. Rock. Sand. Stand, fall, will you be my disciple? And when he finished, the crowds were amazed at what he had said to them, but the disciples were amazed by what he did in them. 